Hey everyone, it's Kirk McLean here, and you're watching Clay's Canucks Commentary. Hey Canucks fans, and welcome to Clay's Canucks Commentary Live, presented to you by Van City Experts Real Estate. I am Clay, Emo Canuck Clay, and this is my Canucks take, all in one take. It is Sunday, March the 17th, St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. If you're new, here's what you should do. Hit the subscribe button now for daily Canucks insight that's positive, timely, and trustworthy. Hope you're doing well. Feels like I haven't been here in a while, although it was... Thursday night, my regular, I took my regular Friday and Saturday off and it turned out to be a, a really good weekend. I hope you guys had a good weekend as well. And um, yeah, just took it easy. Did a lot of studying, did some errands, hung out with the family. It was uh, Gail's birthday on Wednesday, Gail's mom's birthday today. So we did the big, um, we did a big brunch out in Langley, but overall it was a good weekend and I hope your weekend was good as well. My daughter Kayla made it safely to Rome. So that is a big thing and happy that she is there. And uh, yeah, overall life is good. I'm looking at my last six weeks of my master's and yeah, thing, things are rolling along. Everything's going well, except for our favorite hockey team. But I want to, I'll talk about that for the first 15 or 20 minutes. Then I will enter the entry period. We're giving away another pair of tickets tonight. And I can't tell you, I uh, can't wait to tell you about what game that's going to be. So I will be, um, opening that up in about 20 minutes or so. And just like last time, no exceptions, no exceptions. I'm going to open up for 15 minutes and um, you got to get in during those 15 minutes or you're not in. I know I sound like a jerk, but can't make exceptions because then got to be fair for those of you that were here right on time. Let's get started um, acknowledging this membership message, uh, this donation from the legend himself, legendary Lucas Gates. So I'm just going to edit this so it scrolls across the bottom and that's what we're going to show right now. Perfect. And then I can show um, Lucas's donation. Thank you, Lucas, for the donation. It says this, whoops, got to see a Warriors dub with my adaptive soccer team. Nice. My beloved 117, maybe getting an upgrade. Nice. Life is grand. Like, sub, become a member more. Playoffs, here we come. Definitely going to make the playoffs. I want the Canucks to be playing better going to the playoffs, but I'm going to talk about that in a second. I have a I have a perspective on that. Good to hear that your 117 stand is getting an upgrade. Yes, it is very busy every time I walk by. And my son, Sean, was at that Warriors game. He told me all about it. I think the Warriors won 13 to 12 on Friday night. Sounds like it was a good time. So thank you, Lucas, for the donation. Let's give some love to Lucas in the chat. And a perfect segue for this. This is how you guys can get involved. Moderators, do what you need to do to keep this a safe and respectful place. Members, legends, Hall of Fame, and franchise members, thanks for your support as always. And no matter for everyone else, no matter where you're watching from, whether my beautiful neighborhood of Steveston and Richmond in the city, in the lower mainland, the province, country, continent, around the world, thank you for being here. You know that I know that you could be watching anyone else, doing anything else, getting ready for work, school, or bed, or all three. But the fact that you're here with me, know how much I always appreciate you, and I never ever take you for granted. So, this is how you can get involved tonight. You can subscribe to the channel, get active in the chat section, get notified of my videos. By the way, I'm at 10,797. So, all we have to do is get three subscribers. So, if you're not subscribed yet, firstly, why not? Secondly, hit the subscribe button, help me get to 10,800 tonight. So, you can subscribe, you can like the video. There are 60 of you in here already, which is awesome. I must be giving away tickets or something, and there are only 13 likes. Now, oh, it went up. You guys knew what I was going to say. So it's up to 17 likes now. Let's get that to about 30 likes. There's no quota, but know how much I love that 50% rule. So let's get up to 30 likes as we get going. You can leave a donation like the legend himself, legendary Lucas Gates just did. You can gift memberships. You can buy your own membership. You can upgrade your own membership. You can use your monthly membership message. And if you're listening on a podcast platform, you can rate and review. Those are all the ways that you can get involved tonight. And as it says on the bottom, the ticket giveaway entry period will be at 1020 until 1035. No exceptions. In those 15 minutes, that's when I'm going to 
Um, that's when I'm going to answer all your questions. So I'll, I'll do the first 50 minutes, then I'll turn it over to you for the second 50 minutes. And then we will play the reverse, the quicker reverse wheel of names, but we will draw for a pair of tickets. And I'll tell you about what that game that's going to be in about 15 minutes or so. We got Carol using her monthly membership message, acknowledging she's been a member for two and a half years. So let's give some love to Carol. Carol is indeed a monthly member for 29 years. So 29 years, 29 months, sorry. I wish, Carol, you'd been here for 29 years, but this channel isn't even that old. And then right on cue, Carol does this. So let's gift, let's give some love to Carol for her amazing donation of $25, which results in five franchise memberships. And you know what's really funny is before I got in here, I saw Taylor notice that her membership ran out because it's every month. Then Taylor says, I think I might get one though, or get one soon. And look, Taylor gets one. So Taylor, Clifford, Harry, Jaskarin, and BC Beastly. I think all returning members. I guess I got to do something to entice you to buy your own membership. But for now, we will certainly, we will certainly enjoy and appreciate Carol's generosity. So love some Carol, love for some Carol in the chat for sure. And then welcome back. And I can say that uh, comfortably. Welcome back, Taylor. Clifford, Harry, Jaskarin, and BC Beastly. Love it, love it. BCB, that's what I'm going to say. It just sounds a lot easier than BC Beastly. So again, I will go until 1020, and then I'll turn it over to you guys after that once the, the ticket, uh, the contest entry period opens. So the Canucks lost to the Washington Capitals 2-1 in a game where they scored a minute and a half in, and then they didn't proceed to score for the rest of the game. Didn't show a lot of urgency, and I, I put four things in there. Didn't show a lot of urgency. I can't blame De Smith, although I'm not sure where he was going on the on the Veshkin goal. <laughs> uh, PD still not producing the power play. They only had that one chance, but they didn't look great. So it wasn't a great game. It wasn't a great game. But I guess what I'm going to, you can talk about it now in the chat, but I'll highlight comments and I'll, and I'll answer questions um, in a few minutes for sure uh, once we get to 11.20. But I asked you, and, and this is what I, I'm going to, this is what I'm going to consider, asking you to consider. I'm not telling you how to be a fan. I know there's some of you in here say, relax, we're going to make the playoffs. Yes, we're going to make the playoffs for sure. But... I do think you want to enter the playoffs playing some really good hockey and be really confident in your game. However, I recognize that the Canucks are not playing well right now. However, thank God there's 14 games left, not four games left. So it's not like the playoffs are going to start next week. They still have a month to, to get their act together. So basically, you can tell I'm trying to I'm trying to provide uh, a, some reasonable context because you you know I'm the founder of the GLCPC, the Good Looking Canucks Positivity Club. I I built my brand not just on YouTube but my brand overall on being a positive Canucks fan, and that's all legit. That's for sure. And I can't wait for them to make the playoffs. I can't wait to go to playoff game. I can't wait to be on a stream talking with all you guys about hopefully Canucks wins in the playoffs. But um, we got to recognize that it's been a rough 13 to 14 years. So I am trying to provide some perspective they're playing poorly they're still going to make the playoffs they have 14 games left not four games left in the regular season now it's interesting you could say on, on the flip on the positive in their past six games the Canucks are four one and one and therefore they have nine points out of a possible 12 in their past six games and that is true that is true. However, you can also look at it and say, actually, the Canucks lost. Uh, they've lost eight of their final thir their their last thirteen games. That is true too. And I'm not saying you need to believe in the first one. The Canucks have nine of the the potential twelve points, because that's true. I'm not telling you you have to believe in the other one. The Canucks have actually lost eight of their last thirteen games. Because that is true too. So it really is. And I, you know, I sound like a broken record, you guys. I, I always talk about perspective. 
and as positive and as hopeful and as optimistic as I am, I'm I'm not the doom and gloom guy where I'm going to say, oh, the Canucks are going to mess this up. Oh, they're going to Edmonton's going to catch them for first. Oh, we're going to have to play against Vegas in the first round, and we're dead meat. I'm not saying any of that, but all these things I think we do have to we do have to recognize as potential outcomes. Rosario using his monthly membership message to say that he loves the sushi shirt. You got to be careful when you say that very quickly. Thank you, Rosario. You deserve the Gohorn. Rosario, member for the last seven months, says loving the sushi shirt. Yeah, I do love this one because indeed, this is indeed how I roll. Let's give some love to Rosie in the chat for sure. Always happy when I see Rosie at games. So, you guys, this is the reason why... You want to win the division for home ice advantage. Okay, let's put it this way. Actually, I'll pull it up for you. Let me do the scores. Let me do the standings. And I'm going to talk about some of the the playoff ramifications. So actually, there's so much that I want to do. And I got to do it all in the next 10 minutes. So firstly, I'm going to end the poll. And I'm going to say, what is the biggest concern for you right now? And 31% of you, wow, this is a good poll question because because it's pretty even 31% of you said lack of urgency in their games, in their play. 29% says lack of PD production. 22% says special teams, especially the power play. And only 15% of you said Demko's injury by default. That means to Smith playing. I'm not blaming to Smith for these losses, but I guess it's more, whoops. It's more that we're worried that Demko, um, he does come back when they say, he, when they say he's going to come back. So, that's that. That's the poll question. And thank you, everyone who voted. We also got, uh, see, Lucas is on more on top of my own social than I am. So Lucas, with a $2 donation to announce to me and to everyone, I guess through Social Blade, that we did hit 10800 I'm so excited that I played the intro instead. I meant to play this. So using using the website Social Blade, Lucas track that I am over ten thousand eight hundred, and I see right on my app that I'm at ten thousand eight hundred two. So thank you everyone for helping me get over the ten thousand eight hundred mark. And for that, I'm gonna I think I'm gonna give away five memberships right now. And then I'm gonna acknowledge everyone that's been so generous. So I'm gonna give away five memberships. How do I do that? Membership gifting. I have five. Here we go. Gift five now. So I'm gifting memberships as well. Remember, it's random. So don't get mad at me if you don't get it. And it looks like it, I gifted. So we're going to go in order though. We're going to go in order of all of your generosity. So the first one, so I acknowledge Lucas's donation and he said social blade alert 10.8 K sub. So I hit 10,800. So thank you, Lucas, for the $2 donation. Let's give legendary Lucas Gates some love in the chat. Then we had Jesse using a monthly membership message. Let's give some love to Jesse in the chat. He uses his nine month membership message and say, haircut still looks fresh clay. Why thank you, why thank you, why thank you. Yes, got it cut on Thursday and it is still short for now. Thank you, Jesse. I'm sure your hair looks awesome as well we got coach rob member for three years let's give him some love it says if we go out in the first round is this season still a success if we lose in five games no as much as none of us were counting the canucks to make the the playoffs in first place in the division i do think if we're out in the first round and we only win one game i will label this the season a failure and it sounds a little harsh but you don't play this hard, this well, this long to go out in the first round in five games. Coach Rob, thank you for that. Then we got the legend herself tacking on to her $25 of donations and memberships with this massive one. Legendary Carol Bovelander says, I just want to say thank you to this community and to Clay for everything is done. I also want to pray. I also want to thank everybody for praying uh, for me. Appreciate it. I wish everybody a great coming year. So Carol, 
thank you for your support, not only monetarily, but more important, your support, whether it's emotionally, mentally, uh, whether it's the prayers that you pray for this community or that we're praying for you. We love having you here, Carol. Thank you for the donation. Let's give Carol some love in the chat. And Carol, thank you for your friendship as well. Then we got this good looking guy. Let's give some love to this guy. So Canuck Clay, I don't know who that is, but he's good looking. Gifts, memberships, five memberships, and they go to Mr. Adam Shy. Daz Money, Matt, Smiley, hello, who I was just emailing with earlier today, and JS. So five, five memberships. I get to do 10 a month, and I didn't want to make it so, I, I kind of want to make it more random, but I, the Sunday night streams are always big. So I've been doing the habit of every two weeks giving away five memberships. And there we go. So welcome to membership. And you don't want to give Canuck Clay some hype because he, he already, his ego's already big enough. <laughs> Franchise member Harry, being a member for 15 months. Thank you, Harry. He says, hi, Clay. How are you? I'm great. Thank you. Hope you're well as well. What's your prediction for Tuesday night's game? Who do you think will score first for the Canucks? I think Canucks are going to have, despite the young core of the Buffalo defense, Darlene, Power, Byram now, I think Canucks break out of their scoring some. I'm going 5-1. I, I don't know why I'm going to be at the game. I'm saying five, one Canucks. Let's give some love to Harry in the chat. Let's keep on going. Ricky, give some love to Ricky. Ricky member for a month. It's got to be longer than that. Anyways, three very winnable games this week. I agree, but that's what we said going into the Washington game, but I agree Three very winnable games. We got Detroit. Sorry, we got Buffalo. What was I saying? We got Buffalo on Tuesday, a game I'm going to. We got Montreal on Thursday, and we got Calgary on Saturday. So I'm not going to Buffalo. Sorry, I'm so stupid. I'm going to Buffalo with my buddy Mike in 319, not going to Montreal or Calgary. And then I'm going to LA with Lucas, and I'm going to... Dallas with Andrew benefits of legend membership. So um, looking forward to being at three of the next five games. And I agree, Ricky, that they are winnable games, but everyone's playing for something different, whether it's a job, whether it's a bonus, whether it's playoff spot, whether it's uh, a non-playoff spot, who knows, who knows, but thank you, Ricky. Um, Clifford. Yes, I am wearing green a little bit because St. Patty's day. And then there's one I want to, is an interesting, interesting question someone asked. Someone asked why I wear a string necklace. Huh? Darren's getting married tomorrow? Darren's getting married tomorrow? Well, that deserves a goal horn at least. Let's give some love to Darren. That is awesome, Darren. Giving you some love. Good luck tomorrow. That that's amazing stuff. That is amazing stuff. Uh, Roberto asked me, why do you wear a string instead of gold or silver necklace? I was never big on jewelry, jewelry. I think this is more, uh, I don't know, it's more humble, more simple, more plain. That is why I wear my cross. And uh, yeah, you know, I'd love to get into all your comments, but we got a contest to run. But if you're donating, I better get into your comments and highlight them. Shannon, look at this. Hall of Fame member Shannon. Time to give Shannon some much deserved love in the chat. Oh, where'd it go? Shannon, $20 donation says, I want to say thanks all of you CCC crew members for helping me learn hockey. Of course, Shannon, we learned from you too. I want to let you know that someone in the chat will be one year older on Wednesday, but I'll leave you all to figure that out. Well, maybe it won't be such a secret if I bring that person onto my stream, which I like to do for Hall of Fame and, uh, and legend members. So, Birthday person, I was going to say birthday boy, but birthday person, I will contact you over the next couple of days. I know how to find you, but more importantly right now, let's give some love to Shannon in the comment, in the, in the hype for her, for her actual uh, donation. Oh yeah. Give me a minute. And then we're going to open up the contest real quick. Give me a minute. Actually, no, you know what? I'm going to open up the contest now and then 
I will use the first five minutes of the contest time to talk about what I was going to talk about. And then I'll still give you 10 minutes for, um, 10 minutes to, for your questions. I think that makes sense. So let me set something up. I want to put it in the chat. So we all know what's happening today. Okay. You guys ready? You guys are ready. I am giving away a pair of tickets to the game that actually Lucas and I are going to be at, but no, you don't get to sit with us. We're in a different section, although I'm sure that would make you want to enter this contest. I'm giving away a pair of tickets to the Canucks versus Kings game. Same. Same. I'm, I'm just making sure that the link work. Same rules as always. You can't sell these tickets, but you can give them away. So if you if you know that you can't make the game or you're working or whatever, but you can give it away, that's fine. You don't have to tell me in the chat. You don't have to say, I'm entering, but if I win, I'm giving them away. Like you can tell me that, but you don't have to. <laughs> and you, you also don't have to tell me, I'm not going to enter because I don't live in town. That's fine. You don't have to tell me. You can do whatever you want, but I might not highlight it. Just know that if you can't go to the game yourself, you are still allowed to enter. So a couple of rules. Uh, once you click on it, you'll see. Please enter if you can only go to the game or you know if someone you can give the tickets to. And don't use multiple names, multiple screen names, multiple email address or phone numbers. Please only enter once. If I know that you are cheating and you're just entering random family members just so they have a chance to win and they have no clue that you're entering them, then I won't give them the ticket. So please only enter once. It's the fairest way to do it. Yes, uh, thank you, Helen, for that reminder. It's a 6 p.m. game. That's fine. That's a great point. It's a 6 p.m. game on the Monday night. Great, great point. On Monday night, the 25th. And again, Lucas and I will be at the game together. But again, not sitting next to you. Okay, it's in the it's on the bottom of the chat. It's sorry, it's on the bottom of the screen. It's on the chat. Um, I, there's no excuse why you can't enter. And oh, you know what I better say here, so no one gets mad at me. I better put right on the right on the thing. Um, entry uh, contest closes at eleven thirty five p.m. Okay, let's see if that works now. So it should have the link, tinyurl.com slash cccKings. Contest closes at 11.35 p.m. So if everyone complains, you know, why I didn't get in, then we can all say, hey, you had 15 minutes. Legendary Lucas Gates, continuing the generosity tonight. As a related note to this game, I do know who's singing the anthems, my very good friend, Elizabeth Irving. Yes, uh, Elizabeth has sang probably 80 to 85% of the, the anthems this year. Sometimes there's special guests or whatever. Um, so it would be great. Elizabeth's doing a wonderful, wonderful job as the unofficial official anthem singer. Speaking of which, Marie and her husband, Chris, are on a plane right now flying back to Vancouver after a five or six week ordeal in Hong Kong, which is awesome. So a couple of you have been asking that, uh, that indeed Marie is is on her way back to Vancouver, which is awesome. And yes, let's give some love to Lucas in the chat for sure. This is what I'm gonna show you guys real quick. And then I'll, I'll allow a few minutes for your questions as well. With the games tonight, this is how the standing look right now. And I wanted to show you the Pacific Division. We are eight points up on Edmonton. They have three games in hand. So there's no guarantee, technically. There's no guarantee that we're going to finish in first. So let's not presume, as much as we want to, we, we let's not presume that we are going to win the division. W winning the President's Trophy means you get home ice advantage in every playoff series in Stanley Cup Finals because you're the best team in the regular season. Winning the conference means you get home ice advantage through the Western Conference. And maybe in the playoffs, if you win the, I mean, in the finals, if you're higher than the East team, winning the division gets you home ice advantage for the first two rounds. So there is, there is a point to winning the, the division. But here's the tricky thing, you guys. This is what I'm going to show you. 
Remember in a conference, the top three teams in a division make it. And then the next two best teams are wildcard teams. So right now, if the playoffs started today, forget about games played. If the playoffs started today, Nashville would be the first wildcard team and Vegas would be the second wildcard team. The way the playoffs works is of the two division winners. So right now, oh my gosh, there's a three-way tie atop the, the Central. But let's say it's Winnipeg because they have the fewest number of games played. So let's say Winnipeg wins the Central and we win the Pacific. We finished first because we have 92 points. Winnipeg finished second because they have 91 points. We are the conference champion, the car, at least in standings. That means we play against the weaker wildcard team. The number one division winner plays against wildcard two. The number two division winner plays against wildcard one. So if the playoffs started today, we would actually play Vegas in the first round and then Vegas then would play in the Pacific Division. So the winner of Vancouver Vegas would play the winner of Edmonton LA. You would see that Nashville would actually go and play in their own central division. Imagine if Vegas and Nashville were backwards. Let's say Vegas was wild card one and Nashville was number wild card two. Then it would be weird. Nashville would actually play against Vancouver in the first round and Nashville would play in the Pacific Division for the playoffs. And then Vegas would go and play Winnipeg and they'd play in the central division. So you could inconceivably have two central division teams play against each other in the Western conference final, or two Pacific division teams play against each other in the Western conference final, depending on who the wild cards are. Finally, you can see why there it doesn't make sense to try and finish first or try and finish second, because look how close it is in the conference itself. You can see that Vancouver's at 92, but look, Winnipeg, Colorado, and Dallas are all at 91. So you can't sit there and say, oh, the Canucks are going to win the, the conference for sure. No, there's three teams from the Central that have just as good of a chance of winning. So there's no point trying to finish um, first if you think you're, the wildcard two is going to be weaker, or there's definitely no, no sense trying to finish second just to avoid uh, a good wildcard team that drops to wildcard two. It, I think it's going to go down the final week and you just kind of get who you get. I don't think any professional team plays to try and to avoid or to try and be able to face a certain team in the in the playoffs. So I hope that makes sense. I'm going to do eight more minutes of your questions starting now. Eight question, eight minutes of your questions starting now. Then I'll do my Mitchell response read, and then we'll give away a pair of tickets. So let's go to your questions. We got to go questions only. Because it is, uh, yeah, we have over 115 people in here. Are we going to beat the Sabres derriere? Yes, we are going to win five to one, Steve. <laughs> Yesterday was my anniversary of playing the Oregon and Knuts game. We need the story on how it came to fruition. Adrian, very quickly, um, I knew some people in game presentation, and I, they knew of my, obviously, my ability to play the piano, the organ. So they invited me. I said, hey, I'd love to come play it once. They said, sure. That's really how easy it was. So I got to play for about five minutes prior to the game. So it wasn't during the game. I would love it during the game, but it was five minutes during, um, it was after the teams played the, did their, no, I think it was before the teams came out for warm up. So there's maybe a couple thousand fans in the stadium. It wasn't during the game itself, but I got to play on the organ for a few minutes and it was awesome. I did a nice mix of Justin Bieber, Michael Jackson, and the theme from Beverly Hills Cop, along with my hockey songs, you know, dun, 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 and, and um, I played Hockey Night in Canada and some stuff like that. So pretty cool. Pretty cool experience. There are arguments for year and a, but I believe there should be a playing round. What says you? I think if right now it's kind of nice, nicely symmetrical. 16 teams out of 32 make it exactly half. But the playing round does, it does um, add some intrigue. It gives more teams a chance to be in it. So it discourages a couple more teams from tanking, maybe. I said the word because it has nothing to do with the Canucks there. Uh, that's the context I say it in. Yeah, I, I'd be open to Ir Irvin. Great question. I'd be open to it for sure. For sure. Who cares who we face? Remember what happened to Leafs last year? Yeah, Jack, I think ultimately you just have to face who you have to face. I was listening to Go Horns and Minnesota has been making me dance for like four hours now. Well, you got to hear 17, uh, 10 times that game. What's your favorite Canucks horn? You know, Marcus, this is something I'm not very cool at. I, I don't know the difference between any of the Canucks go horns. So I'm very sorry for copping out, but I do not have a good answer to your question. I'll just say the current one because it means we've scored a goal. 
Will the soon be wife and I see it? Well, Darren, if you were at the game, I'm going to be at the game. I would love to meet your wife. Um, that's awesome. That's awesome. You know, uh, let's say second intermission, second intermission. Let's meet. And anyone else who's there second intermission, I'll be outside 317 outside of the Olympic, uh, 316, 317. Um, oh no, you know, I found a better place. Not, not 317. I think it's 315 or 316. Basically not where the Olympic, um, display is rather where the locker room display is right at the top of the stairs, because I found there's way more space there. So it is at the top of 316. Sorry, 315. So anyone wants to meet me at the game, second intermission, we'll, uh, I'll meet you in the locker room, dressing room display outside of section 315. Do I have the same seats for playoffs this year and for next year? Uh, Rosario, I still have my 319s and my my 316s and my 115s for this year playoffs. And then with my new seats with Sean, even though we bought seats in 319, our playoff seats are in 313. So I hope that makes sense. Basically, regular seats for playoffs. And then I have 313 as my new tickets, even though my tickets are in 319 for the regular season. Canucks have a relatively easy schedule coming up, Fangirl, especially with the next six at home. How much Pepsi have I drank today? Bad bad day to ask me, Jasker, because we went to that Coast uh, Buffet in Langley. Um, I had three glasses there, and I've had two glasses at home. But the three glasses there were very small. I'm just making excuses for myself. Daz Money, I've been to, of the 30 home games, I've probably been to 12 of them, and I don't know my record. I don't keep track. Maybe I should. I don't know my record. Maybe being to 12. No, I'd say 12. You think Pete will have an explosive game? Yeah, maybe not on Tuesday, but I think he's due for one for sure. Okay, so some... Like them for Edmonton round one matchup. Yeah, I kind of want... Yeah, I know we got to get through everyone. I just finished that, but I want Vegas to beat LA. I want Vegas and Edmonton to play each other in the first round because at least that means one of those teams will be out. And then, um, you know, LA, Nashville, St. Louis, whoever we get is who we get. Yeah, I think this is going to be the order at the end too. Vancouver, Edmonton, Vegas. And I thank you, Tristan. Takes a legend to know a legend for sure. All right, you guys, you got two minutes to enter the contest. Two minutes. Do you know how to get your autographs from players in your jersey? Is there a way we can get signatures? Easy, any recommendations? I know past time sports, but I never see PD coming there. Yeah, and I th sometimes it's just by luck of the draw, you can catch them going in and out of the parking lot. I'm not sure if people still wait there outside the, the parkade at the game. And I think in very rare situations, you can write to the team and then have them arrange it. But I think that's very rare. Sorry, Marcus, I don't know for sure. Which playoff one with the Canucks have better chance to get past the first round? Tough to say, Raymond. It depends on uh, how teams are playing. Because I'd say Nashville, but Nashville is hot right now. You know, we beat LA in Vegas recently, but I don't know. I, I think we have better chance beating LA in their boring system than Vegas in a seven game series. Would I pay Hironic more than Hughes? Some have speculated that he won't, that he will, he'll want a bit more. Yeah. You know, I, I get the whole argument about percentage of cap, but I, I don't, I still don't think it looks good if you pay him more than Hughes, but Hughes makes 7.8. Hironic could fall anywhere between six and a half and seven and a half. And I think that's a lot of money for him for sure. Yeah, I think they'll do something great, like something neat, like towels. I think so. Yeah, I didn't like the effort, for sure, Nux, for sure. Yep, we should get back on track, and I think they're not playing with enough urgency, Carol, as we talked about in the in the poll question. Tyler, I do trust the Canucks. Because um, when they say week to week, Truly, like that could be two to three weeks. It could be eight to nine. And technically they're right. Although I guess you want them to be a little more forthcoming. Sometimes though, um, when you hear it from the media, it might be, it's weird. It might be even more trustworthy. So when they said Demco two to three weeks, and then the Canucks only say week to week, I believe two to three weeks. That means Demco should be back by the end of the month. Oh, it's shout. Gotcha. I'll have to check that out. I'll have to check that out. 
All right, guys. Sorry, a lot of good questions, but priorities arise, and that means I'm gonna give you one extra bonus minute to get your your entries in while I do my Mitchell sponsor read, and then I'm gonna cut it off. So you have one minute. You have one minute to enter the contest while I do my mid show sponsor read. Shout out to my primary sponsor, Van City Experts Real Estate. Contact Jason Lim and his team for all of your real estate needs. Shout out to my secondary sponsor as I, yes, there it is. My secondary sponsor, Perform and Transform, Personal Training Weight Loss. You can check them out at ptform.com. Thank you to Gats, Jack Art, maker of that fine artwork. And thank you to Vessi Footwear. Use the link tinyurl.com slash Vessi Clay and receive a free pair of socks if next purchase of Vessi shoes. Also, Mitch, show reminder to all of you to subscribe so you can get active in the chat section. You can like the video. 120 of you in here, which is awesome. 54 likes. Keep it up. Thank you. You can leave a donation like so many of you have done. You can buy gift memberships like so many of you have done. Well, Carol and I have done that. Um, you can buy your own membership, upgrade your own membership. You can use your monthly membership message and show off how long you've been a member. And if you're listening on the podcast platform, you can rate and review as well. Well, we got nine new subscribers tonight. We're up to 10,806. So you guys are awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. That's enough. Now it's time for me to go close off the close off the contest. So this is the time where you can talk to each other in the chat. Moderators, keep an eye on things. I need about two minutes to get this contest ready. Okay? Okay, so you guys do your thing. Talk in the in the comments, and I need to focus for the next minute or so. Then I have to go to the washroom too. I guess I'm too excited, but uh, let me see what happens. Oh, my gosh. There are 147. We had, 100 <laughs> we had 140. Um, Last week, we have 147 entries today. So I'm blabbing, but basically I need to spend about a minute or so getting this ready for the contest. So again, keep chatting amongst yourselves as I get some work done right about now. So I got to get cracking here. So you can stare at my beautiful face as I'm doing things here. But, uh, yeah, I do have to focus. This is my focus face. <laughs> you hear me clicking away madly here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You guys are actually pretty good about uh, not cheating. For the most part. Yeah, it's not bad, actually. Not bad at all. I'm impressed, you guys. There's no doubles when it came to one way of sorting. I'm going to sort another way and see if there's any cheating. Although I don't know if these are all, any of these are fake names. So really, what can I do, right? It is indeed honor system. And I'm honored that there are 147 of you entered. Okay, I found one person who I think they gave me two names. So I'm going to take it out. Two of the same names and one of them looks like a fake phone number. <laughs> Wait, that's not bad. That's not bad. Okay, that's good. I think it's time to get going here. Okay, guys, I'm just doing one last thing. One last thing, and then we are going to be ready to go. You guys will like this, I'm pretty sure. All right. Thanks for waiting. Thanks for waiting. 
We are going to, I've done it as a three second or three to five second spin. So I'm going to show you the wheel and you guys can rave about how nice the wheel looks. And I'll be back in 30 seconds because I have to go to the washroom before we start. Okay. So there's the wheel. Carol, you can't see anyone's name anyways because there's 146 names in there. Once we get down to the last 20 names, then the it'll be a lot bigger and then you'll be able to see things. Okay, so I've I put the Canucks logo in. I'm going to shuffle five times. One, two, three, four, five. If you get dizzy, just don't look and just look at it's the same thing. Instead of red, blue, yellow, and green, it's now dark blue, light blue, <laughs> gray, and white. I don't know. Let's just see what happens. I've I've sped it up. So yeah, Marcus, we do 140 spins, but we actually we sped it up. So it automatically removes the name. So let's try it. Here we go, guys. Remember, you do not want to see your name pop up. Playing for a pair of tickets to the Canucks versus Kings. Here we go. Matt is out. So it says removing winner in. So it goes way faster than I used to do this. Cooler friend is out. Do I have to wait? Let me check one thing. Do I have to wait five seconds? After spin, auto remove winner after five seconds. Yeah. Oh, it's so I don't have to do it myself. Narmi is out. Remember, by the way, is uh, did I see that Diener is in here? Hey, Diener, nice to see you. Love what you're doing on the channel. Growing like crazy. Glad that you are here in the chat, Diener. Keep it up. The good work. I know you you started a long time ago. Then you went. No, whatever. You're doing great work, and and your your channel's growing very quickly. But I got a job to do. You guys can, you're welcome to leave donations or whatever, but I'll, I'll recognize them at the very end. And remember, I'm not going to mention any of your names because of the perceived jinx, but I know you guys like to jinx each other by, by wearing, uh, by mentioning each other's names. Oh yeah. The middle logo spins. Yes. Oh, my friend Erico is out. Garrett, some familiar names. Blah, truth. So actually, you see how it says removing winner in five seconds? I could take that out, but then I would have to basically click every single time. I think this is easier on me at the risk of it adding one or two seconds. Oh, the guy's getting married tomorrow and he loses. Sorry, Darren. Darun. Sorry, buddy. Oh, Dina, you're too kind. Yeah, if you're learning from the best, you should learn from other people. Not Misha, is this the Misha that I think it is? No, I don't think so. It's spelled differently. Regardless, Misha, sorry. Zao, you know, a lot of familiar names are bowing out early. Josiah. I think there's a good pace, actually. It just gives us enough seconds to take a deep breath before the next spin. Owen is out. See, we're, we're 10 down, 136 to go. Albert. What's the most annoying to you? The confetti, the clapping, or the woo? Oh, game blogger. 
or is it the fact that says we have a winner? What's the most annoying to you? Is it the we have a winner? Is it the confetti? Is it the clapping? Or is it the woo? Joanne Huang. Sorry, Joanne. I like these colors. I like the Canucks colors. Daz Money. Oh, shoot. Daz Money answered the question and he got the clapping, the clapping, the woo. Paul Dante. I tried a different tape job on this. Obviously, it didn't work today. Oh, my buddy, Nuck649 is out. St. Patrick demands the green. <laughs> it's not annoying if we're still in. That's a good point. Harold is out. You know, I just realized, did I put your screen name? Oh, no, I put your screen names on. It's fine. We're good. We're good. Birdie. Chris says it'll suck when I get out in the chair for me. Yeah, well, 20 people have already felt that fate. Tristan is out. Wait, did Birdie and Tristan go out back to back? That sucks. <laughs> Darun says it helps me get over the loss. Jordan. Do you guys like the Canucks colors better than the blue, green, red, and yellow? Sorry, Harry. Clay knows everyone that lose. No, not everyone. Lots, though. Just sometimes I've met these people. Other times I just see their names a lot in the stream. William. Sorry, William. Adam gets a membership, but he does not. Sorry, Edison. Uh, too late. We closed it off uh, 10 minutes ago. Bryce is out. I wonder if I can change the text and say, we have a winner. It's we have a loser. That, that sounds a little har more harsh than it is. Sorry, Shannon. Always rooting for you, Shannon. Glad you're doing better. Following your updates on Facebook. Just for you, Chris. Just for you, Chris. Sorry, buddy. Evelyn, for those of you wondering why we just don't spin and take the first name as a winner, we find that this is much more dramatic, even though it's the bigger waste of time. Jimmy is out. Snap Dancer is gone. Smurf Smacker. Tough name, but gone. Oh, Tristan, it's your mom's birthday tomorrow. Wish her a happy birthday for me. So Darun's getting married. Birdie's birthday tomorrow. James Finn is out. Hey, D'Altima, nice to see you. Yeah, I think it's more fun, especially if, we, if you're still in it. Sorry, Ricky. Obviously, this wheel isn't going by looks. Otherwise, you'd still be in it. Yeah, Irvin, me too. Last man standing. April is out, but maybe you win next month. SMW also out. Adrian, if we get more than 200 entries, I think I might have to do something different, but we'll see. Well, let's, let's cross that bridge when we get to it. Big Loss Pete. Is that Big Loss, like Filipino last name? Like Siglos, Big Loss? Or is it like Big Loss? Because it is a big loss. JS. If you're getting um, dizzy, just look at the Canucks logo in the middle. It doesn't spin as quickly as the rest. Oh, no, it does. Never mind. <laughs> oh, primo. RJ. Sorry, buddy. For... Yoshi, for those of you who don't believe in jinxes, if you want me to declare your name, I won't do it until you do it. Put in the chat and I'll declare your name. If you if you want to... Oh, Tom Greenman. If you don't believe in the jinx of me causing to lose, we can test it. You can type in your... You can say in the chat, say my name and I will. Juga Jusidu. 
No one's willing to take the bait yet. Crystal. Did I really? All right, Rosario. Daniel Imola. Rosario, that's the name. Irvin. Daniel Louie. No, <laughs> I'm not saying someone else's name. <laughs> Good try. Razor Gaming. Darun, you've already lost, but you're winning by getting married. <laughs> the cookie is a lie. This cookie. I'm not sure what that means. Tom Greenman. They, the Canucks are 1-0 and o with the Greenman, but you're 0-2 in these wheels. Alex Chan. Okay, Tim Critchley. Here you go. Just look at Clay's face instead of the wheel. <laughs> Tristan, you're already out. And we got someone saying, don't jinx me, so I won't. The safest way is not to type anything in the chat. I'm just kind of see. Adrian, just for you. Baby, I love you. <laughs> oh, Adam is out. <sighs> Let's talk hockey is out. See, we've already, we've gone already rid of 50. We're already a third done. Shen one. Nux kid. Okay, everyone type in who you want the Canucks to play in the first round. Oh, sorry, Jesse. Who do you want the Canucks to play in the first round? Not who do you think they will. Who do you want them to play? Yang. Rosie says Vegas. Interesting. Marcus is out. Sarah says the Kings. B Presser says Seattle. They got some work to do. <laughs> American Light says Chicago. Yeah, don't we wish? Wow, four Nashville's in a row. Via Pablo. Four Nashville's in a row. Nashville's playing well, though, you guys. <laughs> Subscribe if I said that. Well, oh, sorry, Chris. Well, Gail was walking by. I think she'd get confused because I don't talk like that usually. Davi. Yeah, Irvin, it's one thing to say it on the stream, though. It's another thing to, to be chanting it in an arena, but I hear you. I hear you. Brent. Now you actually can start to see some of the names on the wheel. Jacob. HL team. Derek S is out. Vivian Wong is out. Yeah, that Nashville, they've been playing really well, though. S ball. Yeah, Tristan, anyone can enter, but my kids don't watch my stream, so it's hard for them to enter. Sorry, Derek. Snipes had Sarah sweating there for a second. That's all. That's an inside joke. Oh, I see what you're saying. Jay Tosca. Sorry, buddy. S. Kelly or Skelly. McD. Sorry, Jason. And Sarah's still sweating at home. Oh, my buddy Edmund. Tristan. Wait a sec. Tristan, you just said... Oh, hold on, hold on. Some controversy. Tristan, I thought you just said that you and your mom went out back to back and then here you are again. Okay, it's okay. Tristan, make sure you only enter once next time. Sorry, Taylor. So, Adam, Adam is offering if someone gives a membership, then he will as well. So, it sounds like a matching challenge. Is that what you're saying, Adam? He says, 
I'll give one membership for one membership. I, Adam, I, you're not saying that you want the membership. You already are a member, right? So Adam is saying um, if someone else gives a membership, he will gift a membership as well. <laughs> Gerald. Adam, is that what you're saying? Or do I have it completely wrong? Sorry, Winnie. We're, we're exactly halfway. We're at 73. Brianna. So Carol gifts a membership and it goes to the Tom Green. Sorry, Duffman. It goes to Tom Greenman. Thank you, Carol. I will uh, I'll acknowledge you at the end with the horn. So Adam, you are up to hold up your end of the bargain. Thank you, Carol. Mark Stark, Mark. Yeah, Tom, that count that as a win. Jasper. And let's give Carol some love as well, as always. Always so generous on the stream. Oh, it didn't, did it not? I saw Jasper got removed, but did it? Uh, so Jasper is out. Jen Huang is out. My sign is falling down all over the place. And there's Adam following up with his end of the bargain. And that goes to Derek S. So thank you to both Adam and Carol for gifting memberships during this amazing drop top exhaust is out. Thank you, Adam. Thank you, Carol. Brian Blingy is out. Harry, I think you were eliminated pretty early. Rosie's out. Can someone confirm? I'm pretty sure Harry got eliminated. Oh, it's Jasper. Sorry, Jasper. Jack Maloney is out. Are you sure, Jasper? I don't see your name on there anymore, but I could be wrong. Albert. No, never mind. Never mind. I still see it. Sorry, my bad. Got Fox. Huh? Okay, hold on, hold on. Got to check something. Got to check the records. How did it land on Scott Fox twice? Did it not eliminate it? Oh, controversy. That was weird. That was very weird. Oh, Adrian T, my friend. Brandon U. Yeah, the Scott Fox is weird. I just checked the spreadsheet. He only entered once, so the wheel messed up for a second. Oh, sorry, Coach Rob. Michael. Yeah, this is what happened. It said Scott Fox, then I press close, and then it didn't disappear from this pointer, but that's okay. Then it's by fluke, it landed twice on him. Matthew with one T. Jaskamal Singh. You guys, this is pretty fast. We're actually close to the top 50 already. Then at 20, I'll slow it down a little bit. That's what I did last time. Tim is out. Andy Zhao is out. I'm just amazed at how many of you stay, even though you get eliminated. You still stick around to see who wins. Mackie, friend of the show. Eric. Yeah, Erwin, that's a good point. It just we just gotta figure that out as we go. Just Justin, I like that name. Darun says this 
entertaining. Sarah says she needs a second shower. Nux will always be around. CJJR. Hey, happy birthday to Birdie. Antonia, I like that name. We are within the top 50 now, staying alive, exactly. I play some music in the background, but then uh, I get copyrighted. Oh, Adam, you won last year? Nice. Aposium Dad. I remember saying that name last time, too. Katniss, I remember saying this name. Roberto. Gabe. Oh, I forgot to show my shows during my Mitchell sponsor read. Canucks after dark tomorrow at 10. I'm at 11.15. And then regular shows Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday this week at 11. Matt. So a regular week, basically. Yeah, Tristan, we got one more draw next week. Elston Gun. Adam, the person who got your membership was was it the Green Men? I can't remember. I, I said it. It's already up. It's in the chat somewhere. And yeah, and one and zero with the Green Men. One and two with the for the Green Men. <laughs> Owen Lane. Hey, oh my gosh, how are you? NHL playoffs don't start till third week of April, and we didn't have no clue who we're playing. Oh, sorry, Sarah. But you can stop sweating now. We are within the top 40. Andy is out. Kim Chi is out. Wow, some of the people whose names I declared earlier are still in. Tyler's out. Oh, my boys are home. Oh, Seif Studios makes it all the way to the top 30, top 40. VL77V. Again, I asked, is that a car? Is that a motor? What, what is that? No, Tristan. Edward is out. YouTube decides who gets the memberships. I don't. YouTube does. Moonmaker. Oh, Daniel Louie makes it to the top 33. Jefferson. Gerald, today was 146. I thought last week was 140. So this is bigger. Wasn't last week 140? Blicky Sticky. I'm not sure what that name means, and I don't want to know. Blicky Sticky, Sean. And Andrew. Yes, Erwin, good point. The... The YouTube hands out the memberships based on who's in here often, who's in the chat, that kind of thing. Luke Chen is out. Adam says, oh, thank you for the tickets last year. Your coworker is still talking about the game. That's amazing, Adam. That's happy to make him happy. Victor is out. Sean, there are 146 entries tonight. Playing for Canucks Kings tickets. Oh, two of my buddies. It had to be one or the other. Marcus is out. Unknown man. Yeah, thank you, RJ. Oh my gosh. Yes, we don't. Uh, in, in theory, you think of mid-90s, 94, 95, 96 points will get you a spot, but you don't know who you're playing until the last week of the season. Subscribe is out. We are in, heading to our top 20, you guys. And this amazing Canucks colored wheel. Clifford is out. A lot of names now that I recognize. Pie pieces are big enough to actually read now. Jamie is out. 
Oh, Daniel, I'm sorry to hear. Hostel for three. Oh, Daniel, I'm sorry to hear that. Fierce boxing is out. You guys, I like the speed of this. I'm going to take this speed all the way to the top 10, and then we'll slow it down. So I do like the speed. Oh, sorry, Carol, the legend made it to the top 20. Actually, Nux, I'll slow it down at, at 15. We'll get to 15. Show fee. Oh, Daniel, I appreciate that. Thanks, Daniel. That, that means a lot to me. Appreciate that. Richard Rich. And two names, too. Too bad. Josh Giesbrick. And one more. Cam is out. My friends, you are looking at the top 15. I'm going to slow it down to... Let's go up to six seconds now. Austin is out. Yeah, Erwin, good point about number nine versus number one. Oh, no, the Ultima is out. Yeah, and it's very easy to say, oh, as long as the Canucks make this because uh, whatever, number nine can't make this, but then you also forget that um, some teams play against each other as well. So, But I hear what you're saying. Amy is out. You guys, we are into the top 12. One of these people will win a pair of tickets to Canucks versus the Kings. But it won't be David Chen. And it won't be Derek. Adam, very kind of you. Um, Carol and I, we've, um, we've worked out a couple things before, so... Yes, as much as Carol is very generous, we got to be fair to the people who are in this channel, like in this giveaway. And uh, thank you, Carol and I chat often, but we do appreciate her generosity for sure. Daniel is out. We are down to our top nine, you guys. Ryan is out. We are down to the top eight. And Vincent is out. Seven spots to go. Jin He is out. And with his next spin, we will have our top five. Mike, Mike has been at every stream for the past month or so, but Mike is now out. Good try, Mike. Good run. Going to put this up to our 10 seconds now for the next three. Here we go. Top five. Good try, Mike. Oh, Austin is out. We are to our top four. Bren, Bren K. Wong is out. Okay, guys, I actually know all three of these people, which is good. They're all friends of the show, which is nice. Um, if I say any of their names, they'll get mad that I'm jinxing them. So I know all three of these. So here we go. Here we go. This spin will eliminate one, and then we go into our best of seven. Okay. We are now into our... and. I always like it, like I'm not biased. I'm just happy to give the tickets to someone, but I really like it when I know the two people 
that are in the finals, or at least I know of them. I don't think I've met either of them in person, but please correct me if I'm wrong. Who is going to win? Not who do you want to win? Who is going to win? Is it going to be Jaskarin or is it going to be Irvin? I put both options in the poll. Jaskarin and Irvin, if you don't win the poll, don't get sad. Just be more happy when, when you actually win and defeat the odds. Yes, this is a great final. <laughs> you guys are awesome. We got Let's Go. We got What a Final. We got the Heavyweight Championship Finals. Yeah, these are two of the people that um, that have been around for a long time. Okay, Jaskin, so we have not met. No, Mike, I'm not planning to go that. Oh, no, wait. I am going to that 16th game against Calgary. Yes, I am. Oh, no, I'm not. Yes, I am. Hold on. <laughs> am I going to the game? Hold on, hold on. Don't worry, Derek. I'm going to spin in like two seconds, you guys. I just got to see if I'm going to this game on the 16th. I am. I am. I am. I am. Yes, you. Andrew Chang just texted me. All right, here we go. Then. So what do we got? <laughs> Picking Irvin because it's similar to Irwin. We got some Jaskaran. We got the plucky eight seed versus the Presence Trophy winner. Bruce Buffet. Bruce Buffer or Bruce Buffet? I, I ate at a buffet. It's time. In one corner, we have a longtime viewer of this channel. I think he's still in high school, but that doesn't matter because we're not ages here. It is Jaskarin Kumo. <sighs> in the other corner, we have a newer member of the channel, but still very, very loyal in his consistency and in his presence. We have the man whose name sounds like Irwin. It's Irvin Claveria. <sighs> that was horrible. Yeah, let's get ready to rumble. I can't be too loud because Gail might be sleeping upstairs. All right, this is a best of seven. Best of seven. Now you actually do want to see your name. And you guys can comment in between. I will give the goal scores depending on how close it is. You'll see what I mean. But this is a best of seven. Oh, thank you, Irvin. Here we go. Oh, Andrew's here. Andrew, I just texted you. Thank you for the donation. Yes, this is a great finals. This is this is exciting tonight. Let's give some love to Andrew in the chat. Here we go. Game number one. And Irvin takes that one pretty easily. That's a 5-2 score for me. It's going to remove Irvin. I forgot to change. Don't worry, Irvin. I'll put your name back in. We're good. We're good. I'll put your name back in, and I will change it to um, don't remove the winner. Auto remove the winner. No. Display the remove button. No. Okay, so we're good. We got Irvin and Jaskarin on alternating pies. It is one nothing for Irvin. Here we go. Game number two. And Jaskarin, not as dominant of a win, but he hangs on to win. We're going to give that as a 4-2 score, my favorite score. So after two games, it is 1-1. One, one. Doesn't matter who had home ice advantage. It is 1-1 one, one right now. That's an overtime goal for sure. Jaskarin squeaks out a lower scoring game, 2-1. So Jaskarin has won games two and game three. So Irvin won game one. Jaskarin wins game two and game three. Game four. And Irvin withstands a late charge from Jaskarin. 
and Irvin wins game four. I love it, guys. We are tied 2-2. We are tied 2-2. Irvin can't even watch. He's baking cookies. <laughs> it's tied 2-2 going to a pivotal game five. Of course, it's pivotal because whoever wins this takes a commanding 3-2 lead in the series. Here we go. Game five. Oh, Irvin squeaks out a 5-4 overtime victory. The second game in overtime. And now Irvin has won games one, four, and five. Jaskrins has won game two and three. That was overtime indeed, Irwin. Jaskrin is up three to two. Yeah, Andrew, you and I, for your legend game, we are actually going to the game that Coach Rob and Shannon will be at. So we'll be able to see them for sure. Okay, guys. Game six. Jaskarin needs this, obviously. Jaskarin needs this to extend the series. Or does Irvin take it in six? Oh, Irvin hangs on. Uh, withstands a, a late charge by Jaskrin, but Irvin does win this series four games to two, winning games one, losing games two and three, but then coming on strong, and Irvin wins games four, five, and six. Irvin takes the series four games to two. Irvin, I will email you after the stream is done, and we will set things up. Congratulations to Irvin. Those cookies are going to take. Uh... Yeah, Raymond, I thought of that. Well, we'll worry about it for the next one. <laughs> Irvin, those cookies are going to taste so much better. Congratulations. And then Jaskarin, good try. Good try uh, for good try on being there. Irvin, just curious. You don't have to tell, you don't have to say in the chat. Are you able to go to the game or will you be giving? Do you know? who you're giving the tickets away to. It's on Monday night, March the 25th, uh, 6 o'clock. And as a small bonus, um, hopefully I get to meet you at that game as well. So congrats once again, Irvin, for your big win. Okay, guys, I'm going to wrap up here, but I want to um, thank those of you who actually donated or did something um, yeah, while that was going on. And I believe, yes, Carol gifted a membership while that contest was happening. Adam also donated, uh, gifted a membership while the we were spinning. And legendary Andrew Chang, make it the trifecta. So that means all three of Andrew, Carol, and Lucas donated tonight. That's why they're legends. He also donated during the stream, during the contest. Okay, guys, I like to do this for the last three minutes of the stream. Tell me, what was the key to Irvin's 4-2 series victory? Tell me why. Give me your analysis, you guys. Why was Irvin able to pull out this exciting final in six games? So let's see. Irwin said he killed off a late penalty. Jaskin pulled the goalie for a six on four push, but got denied. Yes, that was a frantic final few minutes of game number six. That's for sure. Yes, Brian, you were top three. Irvin, I'll be able to go sweet. And meeting you is a big bonus. Oh, don't. Oh, you're too nice. Yeah, you get to meet both Lucas and me. But yes, Irvin, very excited to meet you on the 25th. That is awesome. Adam keeps telling me about what he's wearing and he's not wearing. I'm not sure what is going on right now. Hey, no problem, Sarah. No problem. No problem. Bruce Buffer voice. The, ta the tail of the take. Irvin is your winner. Wearing the Canuck strip. Cookies. He wasn't paying attention. He had Tim Thomas, <laughs> the doubters. Yes, that's right. That's right, RJ. Two-thirds picked Jaskin to win, and he just kind of stuck it to them. 
He's a good looking dude, says Tristan. I, I, I'm sure that's true. I'll, I'll be able to comment for sure in a week. <laughs> Great defense. He was the underdog because he was baking cookies. Cookies. Hey, Shannon, we'll, we'll see. I, I'm not sh- I try and give away tickets when I can, but it just so happened that we back, we front loaded a bunch and we back loaded a bunch. Oh yeah, Irvin, good. Uh, see, it makes me happy that uh, it's going to someone who hasn't gone to a lot of games or not last, n- not recently. Coach Rob, the timeout in the second period. Yeah, you know that was key. Not a, not a lot of coaches use their timeout at the eight minute mark of the second period, but it seemed to work work magic for Irvin. That's for sure. Irvin is like JT Miller, do anything to win. Love it, love it, love it. Less pressure as an underdog. I'm happy when the underdogs win, even when it's against you, Jasper. <laughs> Team Jasper is in shambles. Huge upset, bigger upset than Boston versus Florida. Just go out and work. Got got outworked in a series of six games. No problem, Ken. We're all getting tired. No, and you're welcome, JS. Awesome, you guys. You guys are awesome. Moderators, thank you for keeping this a safe and respectful place members legendary lucas gates legendary carol bolander legendary andrew chang all were present all made their presence felt with the generosity thank you for being legends thank you to hall of fame and franchise members as well and thanks to all of you for watching liking and subscribing for those that you um that went over and above today Above and beyond, not over and above. Above and beyond, Lucas with a donation. Carol, monthly membership message. I can say triple M. Carol donates five memberships. Rosario, triple M. Lucas, donation. Jesse, triple M. Coach Rob, triple M. Carol, $20 donation. Knut Clay, five membership gifts. Harry, triple M. Ricky, triple M. Shannon, $20 donation. Lucas, $5 donation. Carol, triple M. Adam, triple M. Andrew, $7 donation. You guys were all amazing tonight yeah this thing i gotta tape tape up better for it tomorrow night for sure uh thank you to my sponsors van city experts real estate perform and transform personal train weight loss and on the way out do all these things subscribe like the video leave a donation give a membership buy your own membership upgrade your membership or use your triple m your monthly membership you know i don't have to put this up at the end because why would you do that when we're all trying to get out of here like why would you no, seriously maybe i do you guys think i show this ch- like actually before i go before i go do you if you ever feel like I'm trying too hard to get your subs, your likes, your donations, your memberships, let me know in the chat. Cause I realize I say it three times in the show. I say it at the start, I say it in the middle and I say it at the end. I think having this graphic helps because then it's not as repetitive or, and, and I have a script I can follow, but if, if it looks too much, like I'm asking too much, give me that feedback as well. Cause I could drop it down to two, two times. Um, but I doing it three, at least I have a chance to, to kind of get to everyone, but I, but you know, I, I want your feedback as well for sure. <laughs> so coach Rob says it's all good. Actually, I, I, I want your feedback on this. Uh, Brian says, no, it's okay. RJ says, stop selling us what we're already smoking. That's true. So for some of you guys already are members yeah, that's true. Coach Rob says it's good. Chris says it's good. Irvin says it's part of the YouTube hustle. <laughs> All good. Okay. It's fine. Membership below voice can be condensed into one. Oh, that's true too. Okay. Excellent feedback. I will take it for sure. So thank you everyone. Congratulations, Irvin. I'll email you in about five minutes and to everyone else. Thanks for being here tomorrow night. Canucks after dark at 10, me and Parker. And then uh, my own show at 11, 15 games night. We are not playing geo guesser because that stuff is way too easy. If you were there last Monday night, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So as always, You guys are amazing. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. And once again, congratulations, Irvin. You know, earlier today, I'm kind of embarrassed to say this, but my lovely wife, Gail, she came in the room and she screamed at me. She says, you haven't listened to a single word I've said, have you? I looked at her and said, Gail, that's, that's a weird way to start a conversation. God bless and go Canesco. Booyah.